My fellow REIT investors, yes, this is the month of REIT because it's Christmas. And have you heard about the latest REIT caroling? Yes, REIT Real Estate Investment Trust Carol. Yes, it goes like this. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not shout because I'm telling you why man no life read is still coming down. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the read has just announced man Live read that they have selected C Group as the financial advice for a strategic review. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, if you are an investor in man Live, you should be asking one who is paying for the fee for this review two how much will it cost will it cost as much as a quarter million or even half a million and thirdly is there really a necessity to actually do a strategic review well of course the answer is yes because look at the share price it has been coming down this has been the same song that they've been singing for the last four years on men life read the first of which was actually highlighted in my book, you know, Making Your Millions in Real Estate Investment Trust four years ago. So in this week's video, we are going to go through with you how many of the US office REITs are still going down, particularly manual life read, and why is it that you were able to decipher and catch this much early and prevent making losses on this if you have follow our videos and actually attend our investment classes. King Your Millions in Reads, the Chinese version, in a written in Chinese, which is a hot popular one in the US and China, we were able to decipher on page 105 to 112 of your book, uh, warning about manual life read. So in our book, ladies and gentlemen, from page 105 to 112, which we wrote it four years ago and told you about Manual Life Re Read, warn you about Manual Life Read four years ago, was this, you know, just look at this particular chart, which we um, basically have shown in the book. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, we specialize in using the return on invest capital and the return on equity, as well as a myriad of other proprietary methodologies that we use to gauge which read to stay away from, which read are blinking perilous signs way in advance before they actually get into trouble. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this particular chart you see is the fact that the return on equity suddenly dropped by more than half from 2017 down to 2018 and a sudden drop in 2019, you know, and this has been the key warning symptom. So tell us, Gabriel, you know, um, subsequently after the publication of your book on Mental Life, you know, you had continued to warn in your YouTube videos on Mental Life, how were you able to actually pick up other warning signals so that investors would actually not only be just weary of manual life, but of other reads that are falling within this category, so that you will not be able to sing the song, it's still going down in each Christmas. Well, well this chart, ladies and gentlemen, shows you that I was the co-host at the Singapore Corporate Awards, where we actually award some of the awards to the best investor relations or real estate investment trust across all categories, as well as basically for some of the listed companies. So we actually use some of the key criteria that we have used to assess some of the best corporate governance, as well as some of the REITs with the best investor relations in terms of taking care of shareholders' interests and also disclosing as much as possible in the corporate results. So as you can see there, me up on the stage in the 2019 Singapore Corporate Awards together with my lovely wife, uh, Ms. Carmen Lo. Now, way back in 2017, and uh, I was also one of the judge of the prestigious Singapore Corporate Awards for the same award category, Real Estate Investment Trust. Now, the other photo you notice, ladies and gentlemen, is the one that uh, we hosted, I was the chairman of the Singapore, uh, or rather the Fortune Times Reads Symposium in 2016, 
as well as 2017. So based on our experience that's actually called, you notice that uh, what we have warned in our video 10 months ago, you know, was the fact how not to lose money in real estate investment trusts. One of the key aspects is that when a REIT comes to the market to raise funds and we think that the pricing of the rights then, you know, even though those were private shares, you know, place uh, under private placement, normally at a discount. Like in Mental Life Skips, there are three rounds of equity raising. Unfortunately, if you have not come to our classes or Hi Gabriel, just about just another 10 months ago, you had mentioned about the hard truth that is actually when it comes to real estate investment trust, the key thing in making money is being able to pick up the good rates because the bad rates, you know, like in this case, those that do not perform will be able to help you to stop the compounding, right? So can you actually go through with us exactly how was that being able to be addressed in that particular video and how do one look forward so that one can anticipate which are the not so good reads that one should not have in your portfolio going into the new year 2000 and 2021. You can see the deterioration of fundamentals in manual life had continued. So in our classes what we have highlighted is that yes, we may accept that 202 the company actually made a loss, net income of negative 43 million because of uh, COVID-19. But come to 021, why is there a hard year rebound compared to um, the, uh, the, uh, the pre-COVID year, that was 2019, you notice that profits were still down, 39 million, compared to the pre-COVID, that's 47 million. Now, if you analyze further, and you don't need to even undertake a strategic review because it's very clear, right? Mental life fell into a huge fall because of losses, because of acquisitions that did not deliver on the DPU projections that was earlier guided previously, right? So what happened is that in 2020, they actually booked a huge loss of uh, valuation losses, you know, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this, if you, I've listed all the properties that they owned from the likes of Figura, Mickelson and Peachtree at its IPO level, right up to the, the ones that they acquired, that is the Plaza, the Exchange, Pen, as well as actually FIPS, you know, and you can see that there are 2020 values compared to 2019. Practically all the buildings made losses. Yes, 2020 was a difficult year, but valuation loss takes into account one, higher vacancy rates and two, projected income growth. So obviously, you know, the, those two were probably not within management expectation when they, they bought those properties, right? So maybe they should have gone for a higher level or margin of safety, something that we advocate in our classes, right? So otherwise, the loss of 128 million, you know, uh, which and practically that affects all their buildings, you know, could have been avoided to a lesser extent. That's right. You know, as you can see, this is a press release, you know, um, that was reported. They have actually, Mental Life has appointed CD Group as the financial advisor, you know, and the whole idea is to explore options to either recycle assets or diversify into other asset classes. And they are looking at to explore options to enhance shareholder value. Hmm, very interesting. You notice that the key thing in undertaking a strategic review, number one, is it an admission that the previous endeavors, previous acquisitions were probably not very correct. Two, you know, what was missing is the fact that how much would this review cost? Financial reviews of strategic purpose depending on length, debt, and basically the reputation of the financial advisor can go up to as high as a quarter million or even higher than a half a million dollars. And three, most importantly, who pays for it? You know, can you imagine that you are in a situation where, hey, this management of this uh, company runs the company such that the share price actually keep going down, down, and down. And then after the, 
undertake a strategic review. And then you, the shareholder, you know, is going to pay for that despite incurring many years of losses or, or downwards DP. Right? Okay, but actually, what is it that is so difficult about this on, on Menno Life? You know, the thing is that there's nothing very difficult. So, you know, this chart that we have shows you that actually, if you look at the key reason way back in 2018 for the drop in the ROE as well as the drop in the return invested capital, the telling signs are there. Okay, so what Menno Life DPU, Menno Life. REIT should do is number one to stop the decline in the profitability you know and two to stop making acquisitions that hardly made endeavors to actually enhance the dpu right so what we have heard previously was the announcements that actually helped those acquisitions are supposedly or performa will enhance dpu but if they actually had advanced enhanced dpu then why is it the overall Oh, NPI year after year, the overall DPU year after year, not the adjusted DPU, yeah, okay, is down compared to the previous as well as the previous previous. So thirdly, you know, very simple, grow your organic DPU. Yes, six months ago, this was our, our latest uh, YouTube video where we actually question are US offices value traps because we have consistently seen vacancy leasing reports, you know, and the US market is very simple, very transparent. You actually have property reports consistently issued from say the likes of GLL, service, or basically Costa. You can study the occupancies in the various uh, they are in the US there are about 350 metropolitan areas where they can collect the data in very detail. So when we actually got those data and we found those data a little bit different from what Menolife had presented, you know, we continue to warn about the uh, the perils of investment in US offices, you know, and one of the key things that we have mentioned is that even though, you know, six months ago the prices of say Menolife was down 40% the lights of prime is already down 25 percent we continue to tell our investor students to avoid these stocks because the fundamentals don't seem to be improving vacancies continue to rise and the leasing conditions continue to be very tough now it is actually uh, uh, noteworthy you know take note that yes conditions are still tough u.s office which listed in the US are down 20%. But why is it that Menolife is down 50% for the same comparable period playing in the same sector? So you don't need to be a very smart person. You just basically know that something is far more amiss than compared to the competitors. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Do join us for more episodes. Like and subscribe to our, our channel. You know, um, and for Menno Life uh, shareholders, you can be sure that it's easy to stop the rot. You don't need to actually uh, undertake a strategy review, which will cost you quite a fair amount of money. You know, all Menno Life read and what we have been pro pro proposing in the last four over years now on Menno Life, you know, is number one to actually stop the decline in profitability, right? That is, make the profit grow, make it positive, not negative, as what you have seen so far. Two, stop making acquisitions or trying to make uh, justifications on acquisitions, right? That do not enhance TPU in a big organic manner. Now to earn management fee via acquisitions, one thing, but to see your share price going down in a long sustainable matter, you know, the market most of the time is right. Remember, Keynes always say, while the short term, the market is a voting machine in the long term the stock market is a weighing machine so it weighs you know how good the management has been in managing the REIT portfolio well the share price speaks for itself and thirdly make sure that you grow your dpu organically because two aspects of dividend investments what well, that is one thing to see your dividend grow speaks loud and clear for all REIT investors so once again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for supporting our classes this year. Our next class, well, we already finished our last class for this year. 
look forward to Fab Free up next year. So once again, subscribe to our channel and as we have basically warned you and forewarned you so that you actually pick the winners for your portfolio, for your REIT portfolio in the coming year.